protocol of ovule culture for rescuing embryos in cassava. Embryo rescue allows to obtain plants from crosses with high risk of abortion, product of wide cross-pollination, irradiated cassava pollen, or interspecific crosses. For pollination, flowers are covered with cloth bags four to six hours prior anthesis in the morning from 7 to 9 a.m. The day after anthesis in the afternoon, flowers are pollinated manually with Ricinus communis, castor bean, or cassava irradiated or not irradiated pollen, and then covered again until four to five days after pollination. A solution of 50 mg per liter of 2,4-D is sprayed uniformly in all the previously covered flowers at 24 or 48 hours after pollination. Flowers are collected at various days after pollination according to needs. In the case of crosses with cassava pollen, flowers are collected at 15 to 30 days after pollination. In the case of crosses with castor bean or irradiated cassava pollen, Flowers are collected at 7 to 12 days after pollination. Then packed in Ziploc bags and kept in a styrofoam cooler with refrigerant gel for transportation from the field to the laboratory. The samples are taken to the laboratory where they are washed and disinfected. Después de llegar del campo, se le hace un enjuague en, en el cuarto de lavado con un poco de strand, unos dos enjuagues o un enjuague, y eh, se marca el frasco, qué tipo de material, eh, qué material es, eh, la variedad, los días eh, eh, que lleva pues en campo y la cantidad de frutos. Después del lavado, eh, lo traemos aquí a la cabina de flujo laminar y se inicia el proceso de desinfección eh, con etanol al 70% y se va agitando por un minuto. Luego se termina, se hace el enjuague con agua estéril y seguido se utiliza eh, hipoclorito eh, al 50%. Eh, por cada 100 mililitros de agua lleva cuatro gotas de twin. Se deja durante 20 minutos en la plancha de agitación. A los 20 minutos se retira, eh, se empieza a hacer enjuagues hasta quitarle pues, eh, toda la, la, la espuma del twin y, y del hipoclorito. Se hacen mm, cuatro o cinco enjuagues dependiendo pues, eh, cómo esté el material. Y finalizado es, este, este proceso, eh, se etiqueta, se rotula, se guarda, eh, se deja así sellado para poderlo pasar a otra cabina. After surface sterilization of Siathia, Ovaries are cut longitudinally in three sections. El ovario es colocado en una caja de Petri que contiene un papel filtro estéril. El ovario de la de, de la yuca tiene tres carpelos, este carpelar. En cada carpelo hay un óvulo. Isolated ovary slices are placed with the basal cut end on medium MS3 or MSREMV, depending on the day after pollination. MS3 is optimal for ovules younger than 21 days after pollination, and one half MSREMV is used for ovules at 24 or 30 days after pollination, which contain embryos with developmental stages older than globular stage. Cultures were kept in the dark, incubated at 28 degrees Celsius. Ovules are dissected after four weeks of cultures. They are isolated from each carpel and placed with the adaxial side downwards onto the same culture medium and grown under the same environmental conditions for another four weeks. After this time, ovules younger than 21 days after pollination are transferred to MS32 modified medium, containing 2,4-D at 0.5 mg per liter and GA3 at 1 mg per liter, sucrose at 8% and subcultured for another three months for induction of embryogenic callus. In the case of ovules of 24 or 30 days after pollination, they are subcultured at 1 half 
MSREMV for another one to two months and then transferred to dim light. After the in vitro culture, the ovules increased in size and showed external morphological changes in color. These changes are associated with the direct formation of embryos from ovules or with the formation of embryogenic callus from ovules younger than 21 days after pollination. Ovules that did not grow maintained the same size and color seen at the moment of culture, did not develop embryos, collapsed and died. For further proliferation and development of embryos, embryogenic callus were transferred to one half MSREMV medium containing GA3 at 1 mg per litre and NAA at 0.01 mg per litre. After two subcultures on this medium, embryogenic callus were transferred to MS maturation medium. After maturation, individual somatic embryos were transferred to MS BAP medium for germination and then to 4E medium for plant regeneration. In the case of ovules older than 21 days after pollination, fully developed embryos were formed onto one half MS REMV medium, which were then transferred to MS maturation medium, after maturation onto MS BAP medium for germination. Embryos were incubated at 28 degrees Celsius in a 16 hour per day and 8 hour per night photo period for two weeks, or until the cotyledons were developed and turned green and then on 4E medium to recover fully developed plants. After cotyledons expanded and roots were formed, plantlets were transferred onto medium for plant elongation and complete development, then incubated at 28 degrees Celsius in a 12 hour per day and 12 hour per night photo period. Fully developed plants in vitro were acclimatized inside the culture room chamber for two weeks by eliminating the food wrap closure and loosening the in vitro culture jar cap. The solid medium was replaced by liquid medium and the jar was covered with plastic bags to avoid the plant dehydration. Plants were removed from the in vitro culture vessel and the remaining medium was washed out from the roots with running water. Plants were transferred in the same vessel with liquid medium for eight days. Plants are then transferred into trays adapted for hydroponic culture system. After profuse root development, plants are transferred to sterile soil for further development. Las plantas que tenemos aquí en el invernadero de Ciat son plantas que salieron del proceso de gimnogénesis en Icesi. Las trajimos aquí a climatar. Eh, salieron de in vitro y se pueden ver las diferencias morfológicas eh, de las plantas. En general, tenemos cinco eventos aquí. Eh, quiero que detalles que esta es la planta que colectamos en campo madre. Y a partir de todo el proceso de laboratorio, eh, hemos desarrollado o salieron estas diferentes morfologías. When we started working the development of double haploid technologies for cassava, we encountered a major bottleneck. There was no previous knowledge related to the optimal conditions to induce embryo formation in vitro. Embryo rescue is one of the earliest and successful forms of in vitro culture techniques that is used to assist in the development of plant embryos that might not survive to become viable plants. This technique nurtures the immature or weak embryo, thus allowing it the chance to survive. Embryo culture techniques have many significant applications in plant breeding, as well as basic studies in physiology and biochemistry. Immature embryo rescue and culture is a particularly attractive technique for recovering plants from sexual crosses where the majority of embryos cannot survive in vivo or become dormant for long period of time. In the case of cassava, embryo rescue may be useful since the recovery of seeds from handmade pollination could be low depending on genotypes. 
It may also play an important role in modern plant breeding, allowing the development of hybrids from broad crosses. The protocol for the early embryo rescue in cassava was developed using in vitro culture of ovules pollinated with cassava pollen. The objective was to use this protocol as a model to understand and define the optimal conditions to sustain embryo development in vitro in order to recover embryo formation for the generation of double haploids via genogenesis by the culture of non-pollinating ovules or via parthenogenesis by the culture of the ovules pollinated with cassava irradiated pollen or with pollen from distant species such as castor bean. The current protocol allows embryo formation and conversion into fully developed plants from ovules culture as early as seven days after pollination. Histology analysis indicates that ovules at seven days after pollination contain zygote at the first stages of division as early as three cell embryo. In other words, the embryo is at a very early stage of development. This is a major achievement since most protocols for embryo rescue in other species is attained once the embryo is at globular stage. In the case of cassava, the embryo is at globular stage at 21 to 24 days after pollination, and it is fully developed beyond 30 days after pollination. This protocol for embryo rescue at very early stages of development may also be useful to recover plants from broad crosses which are usually abortive.